The thermodynamic disk trap is the most popular design used across all industries today. First patented in 1878, the thermodynamic disk trap operates on the difference in flow velocity between a liquid and a gas. When liquid is passed through the trap, the disk is pushed out of the way of the flow path, allowing free discharge of condensate. However, when steam or air enters the trap, the velocity of the flow increases and the disk is pulled onto the seat. When the steam keeping the disk closed condenses, the disk is pushed off of the seat and the cycle repeats itself. The cycling action of the TD trap results in drainage of the condensate in the steam line. However, the violent blast discharge results in large amounts of steam being lost during each cycle as high velocity steam flow is necessary to end the discharge cycle and close the trap. Many manufacturers of thermodynamic traps claim that flashing condensate is responsible for ending the discharge cycle and closing the trap. However, as this flow test on boiler blowdown demonstrates, the TD trap will not close in the presence of saturated condensate. Only steam flow through the trap will end the discharge cycle and close the trap. Laboratory testing shows not only that steam loss is necessary for the TD trap to operate, but also allows one to measure the amount of steam lost during each cycle of the trap. The average steam loss required for a thermodynamic trap to function is over three hundredths of a pound of steam per cycle. At current energy costs and a cycle rate of six times per minute, the amount of steam required to operate a fully functional thermodynamic trap is in excess of $1,000 per year. The amount of steam loss necessary to operate a population of 1,000 thermodynamic traps is in excess of $1 million annually. The Valan steam trap offers an efficient alternative to conventional steam trap designs. Operating on a thermostatic principle, the Valan steam trap requires no more energy to function than is present in the condensate that collects at the drain point. The Valan steam trap uses a cantilevered bimetal stack to actuate the ball valve. There are two main advantages to the cantilevered stack. First of all, the stack can be segmented to produce closing forces which closely parallel the saturated steam curve throughout the operating range. Secondly, in combination with a spherical ball valve, the Valan trap produces a two-stage discharge. First, cracking open as temperatures drop below saturation and then opening fully to discharge all condensate in the line ahead of the trap. To better understand this internal operation, We've constructed a test apparatus to demonstrate the internal workings of the trap. The test rig consists of a steam supply with a constant, low volume condensate flow to the trap. The piping arrangement includes isolation valves, blowdown valves, and a liquid level gauge for visual detection of condensate. A number of instruments are installed in the pipeline which provide data to a digital recorder. The recorder monitors pressure and temperature variables at various distances from the steam trap. Pen 1 records temperature at the inlet of the trap approximately 1 inch prior to the upstream piping connection. Pen 2 records the temperature 12 inches upstream of the trap. 
Pen 3 records the actual steam temperature. Pen 4 records the steam pressure. Finally, Pen 5 records the temperature inside of the steam trap. The longevity of the Valand steam trap has been widely known to major steam users for the past 60 years. Since 1950, Valand has been a pioneer in the use of cobalt-based alloys in critical components of valves and steam traps. Stellite 6 is welded into the seat facings of all steam traps manufactured by Valand. The resistance of Stellite 6 to erosion and wire drawing is over three times that of induction hardened stainless steel. The result is a steam trap that routinely lasts up to three times longer than conventional designs under the same service conditions. Valan is currently the only manufacturer globally to use stellite as a standard material in the construction of a steam trap and the value is well proven. Valan steam traps are also manufactured in the popular 2-bolt flange or universal connector body style. To renew the trap, simply remove the bolts holding the operating part to the pipeline connector and replace with a new unit. Valan universal connector traps are interchangeable with all other brands of pipeline connectors. This allows for easy replacement of conventional steam traps with the high efficiency Valan steam trap. The Valan model VTCS trap connector station represents an advance in pipeline connector technology. The advent of the two bolt swivel connector in the 1980s has led to major reductions in steam trap maintenance labor costs for facilities using this technology. Valan has drawn on its extensive valve design and manufacturing experience to develop the VTCS as a unit fully compliant with all relevant ASME valve standards. Built on a single piece casting and incorporating API 602 forged steel globe valves into the design, the VTCS allows for isolation and depressurization of the steam trap for rapid maintenance. The VTCS also incorporates a strainer blowdown valve 
and a test valve for cleaning of debris and easy visual testing of the steam trap. All valve seats and discs are Stellite number 6 in compliance with API trim number 5 standards. Fully compliant with the ASME B16.34 standard, the VTCS is rated and tested to ASME class 600. Volan also combines its trap connector stations with its forged steel valve products in fabricated manifolds to simplify the design and procurement process while increasing reliability over field fabricated units. Volan steam traps are manufactured in compliance with all major international quality standards using the most durable materials available today. A dedication to continuous product improvement and on-time delivery make Volan a worldwide leader in the design and manufacture of steam traps. For over 60 years, Volan has been the steam trap of choice when durability, rugged construction, energy efficiency, and critical drainage requirements are needed.